Do female <laughs> MMA fighters have to deal with uh, like BO issues ever? Where's your car? Can you drive? Just tell me, uh, 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 us boys, we get a little stinky. Right. Well, I'm wondering, like, do the girls? Yeah, that's, uh, that's why they make women's deodorant. You gotta wear it. So I was gonna some say. fighters don't wear it. I, I'm not really gonna name. Them. Well, I did want to ask you, who's, who's the stinkiest female fighter? <laughs> Yeah, I'm okay. I don't know if I should say it or not. Oh, you can absolutely <laughs> say it. Is Ronda Rousey stinky? She actually is. I'm not gonna lie. She really is. Amazing. What is uh? What is what? What is the odor she happens to? I know. I heard she uses some like natural deodorant or something. It doesn't work very well, evidently. Oh. Now, now, can a fighter use that as a tactic? I don't remember it during the fight. I remember it when we were on the World Press Tour. And she just had a little bit of stank on her. Ugh. But like, let, like, let's say you're in side control, you know, and uh, you, you happen to kind of move that stinky pit over to your opponent's face. It's going to force them to do something premature, which you could, you know, potentially hey, use to your advantage. Tactics, tactics. All right, my, last thing. My, my great uncle always told me that I should pack uh, like a, a piece of uh, garlic in my cheeks. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> he said he used to do that when his wrestling matches, and he'd be like, <sighs> and just like breathe on yeah. them, and then they'd have like this. They turn away and give up the pin. I was like, I don't think maybe, but I don't know if I want to be known as the stinky girl of MMA.